What up, everyone? This is Dre, man, and can I get a year? Welcome back to 60 Second Sunday, where I give you tips, tricks in 60 seconds or less. Today, we will be talking about organization and post-production. Let's get into it. As many of you who are possibly watching this, I too have struggled with organization when it comes to my editing process. I used to just drag all my footage into Premiere and just click through it until I figured it all out. Eventually I realized that was not working for me. I needed to be a bit more organized, especially because the place I'm employed pretty much preached organization and post-production. Let's go ahead over to my computer and let's get it cracking. All right, now here we are. We're looking at my desktop. Uh, peep the uh, Black Panther wallpaper. You know how you feel me, Wakanda forever, right? So for most people, the first process when uh, getting into post-production is to immediately go to the SD card and extract the files to wherever. Some people even just keep the files on that SD card and begin editing from there. Um, and my... Uh, personal preference that's not always the wisest way for me to go so what I typically do is I'm going to open up this new window here I'm going to go down to my hard drive Thundercat Ho. Oh. anyway so I'm going to go over to this folder that I created called my productions and then I'm going to choose what kind of project it is so right now we're working on a dollar in the dream episode so I'm going to come over here I'm going to right click I'm going to hit new I'm going to go folder and we're going to call this organization and hopefully I spelled this correctly because if I did not it is pretty embarrassing spelling something wrong on your own channel with inside this folder I create two more folders project files and project assets so inside my project files folder this folder right here that's typically where I keep everything regarding the project itself so my auto save files the project file itself all of that stuff goes that premiere automatically creates when you start a new project goes directly in here now my project assets folder is the folder that gets everything so i'll create a folder that says footage i'll create another one that says um music another one that says images uh, I'll do one more and this one will say audio or correction let's go with production audio so for me there is a major difference between production audio and just regular audio right production audio is my voice which you're hearing right now so I want to create its own folder for that um, I prefer to get organized outside of my editing software before getting organized inside of it just so I know where everything is at and it's easy to just grab all of these folders, drop them into Premiere, and boom, I'm straight. Now, there is a, a quicker, faster way. As far as I know, this program is only available for Windows, um, but after this video, I'll, I'll check it out and see if it's available for Max, and I'll let you know in the description of the video. There's this really, really cool free program who is not sponsoring me. I have no connections to the organization or to the company whatsoever. I found out about this program because of the blog No Film School, and it's called Post Taste. This is Post Taste right here. Um, I just clicked it so it's going to load up in a second. Then, boom, there we go. So, post taste, what this allows you to do is to create templates, folder templates that you can just populate from inside of this software. And then, when you're ready to create a new project, you pop it open, you hit create project, you fill in any necessary data up here that's needed. And after maybe like five or 10 minutes, depend, I'm sorry, after a few minutes, uh, all of your, your, your project files and your post-production folders will be created and be ready to drag in, dragged into uh, Adobe Premiere or whatever non-linear editing software you're using for your video productions. Um, I created my own template. So as you can see up here, it says Dre's template. Inside that template, I have my project assets. I have a sequence folder. I have my After Effects folder, audio. Inside of audio, it breaks down to my mixes, my music, my production sound, sound effects, and voiceovers. I also have my film assets. This is what takes my folder to open up a little longer than it would for most is because I put all of my necessary assets into this folder rather than just copying and pasting them from my hard drive or my Dropbox. I'd rather have them in one 
one central location um, inside this software that gives me the ability that gives me the ability to do so. Pardon me, I am screwing up. All right. So inside of there, I also have my graphics, my animations, images, titles, um, my production documents such as scripts, um, transitions. I use these pretty often. My displacement glitches, my glitches, uh, my regular glitches, and then my outport folder. Sorry, my outputs folder for all of my exports of my videos. And it's it's I've been using this for about a month now, and it's honestly helped out a bit more because I'm able to create my um, my folders, step away from the computer, gather some things, get something to drink, run upstairs to the vending machine inside of my office, come back and the folders are ready to go. I'm ready to get things cracking. Post Taste is a third party software that will create all of the folders for you. The part of the job you have to do is go into Post Taste, create all these folders, and then save the template. Once the template is saved, you can then open your Post Taste right before starting a new project and hit create folders. Organization is key in post-production because there's times when you will work with multiple editors and they have to be able to find all of the files and the assets that you're using in post-production. Organization is key and it will take you a long way, not only in your personal projects, but also in your professional projects. My name is Dre Manning. This is 60 Second Sunday. As always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. None of this matters if you don't go out there and apply it. Get out there and shoot your shot. Wow. Every time I do that, it just gets cornier and cornier, and I just keep fing doing it.